Another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine. And today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around and explore. We're gonna explore this area of the city. This is like um, the Ferry Building Plaza. Looks like there is a protest or something that's getting ready to happen. Looks like they're getting ready to have something going on and I thought I would um you know show make a video and show show downtown because there's a lot of um there's a lot of things have sort of start to come back to life like all of this whole area was like closed throughout the pandemic and now it's starting to open back up slowly we got all these little cool flight and glass things here you know, there was all these art vendors here before the pandemic and then when the pandemic came around, you know, with the whole social distancing in place, there was, you know, no one out. Down here, it looks like they're getting ready for a marathon tomorrow. So they're setting up here. I think it's like early in the morning. So probably tomorrow this time, it'll probably be, you know, wrapping up. All these tents down here. Lots of porta parties should be like that on a normal day <laughs> but you know they're just there because of the event that's gonna take place tomorrow this is saturday morning by the way this would be something cool to live stream but the only thing about live streaming you know you have interference with you know the, the cell phone service and the quality is not so great and I don't know, a live video is just a little bit different from, you know, an uploading a video. Let's go walk around the, this little farmer's market area. This one happens every Saturday. And it looks like it's getting bigger and bigger by the, by the week. Like every week I'm starting to see more and more people coming out. More and more vendors. More and more traffic. It's starting to come alive. Got some good music down here. Go walk around and check out some of the vendors. Oh, lots of lots of people out. Like I said, this is a Saturday, and yeah, there is not a shortage of action going on. I don't remember if there's any games today. If there's any games today, it's going to be even busier, just because people will just come to the city for the games. All sorts of, you know, fruits and vegetables here. All organic. All from like local farms and stuff like that. I know some people get very, um, people get very um, particular about like where their food comes from. Like, you know, wow, lots of scooters I'm trying to get around. <laughs> yeah, people get very particular about where their, their food comes from. So a lot of these places are like very local. So if you, you know, don't like to buy your fruits and vegetables at the grocery store, you can always just come down here and, you know, get some fruits and vegetables that are like locally sourced or something like that. <laughs> now, the last time I came through here was a, it was a long time ago. So once we go left, this is like, even more shops and more vending and like i say i haven't been here in a long time i think the last time i've been to this area holy moly look how big that is last time i've been to this area it was like right when it first opened because when the when the pandemic was in place let's go through here when, when the when the pandemic was in place they like closed all the vending right and then i remember when it like first opened back up like i came through and it was um it was busy. It definitely wasn't this busy, <laughs> but it was definitely it was busy. And wow, this this farmers market is lit, yo. There is so much action going on. Look at all this. Yeah, this is definitely grown. Let's go. Let's go up here and get the top view. Oh 
Oh wow, this is awesome to see. So over here is the cruise, um, the cruise boat area. The cru not the cruise boat area, but the ferry terminal. Over here you can get lots of ferries to go to different parts of the bay. And this event it looks like it's pretty big. Let's go back in the mix. <laughs> Need some grapes? They're literally just like laid out on the table. <laughs> Flowers. Yeah, it's, um, wow, this is huge. I don't know which way I want to go. This way? Wait, this one? Let's go this way. Sorry to say, but I'm definitely not looking for any produce or anything. I, I really didn't know that this was this big. It's kind of hidden. You know, you, you drive by Embarcadero on the front and you see, you know, you see a few, you see a few tables set up and you see a few people vending. But then when you come to the backside, it's like way, it's like much, much bigger, you know? It's like 10 times the size of what you see on the front or like 20 times the size of what you see on front. Like I said, there's lots to choose from. Pretty much it's like all organic. It's locally sourced. If that's your thing. Lots of vegetables, lots of, um, you know, um, I guess if you want things like chickens and eggs and stuff, not chickens, but eggs from locally sourced places. I mean, I guess you could find that here. Yeah, a lot of stuff is local here, but let's keep going on because I th this has really expanded. Like I said, the last time I came here, right after the, it was right when they, you know, lifted the lockdowns and you can um, have outdoor events. This place was crazy busy. Go, oh, we could go down here. It's not as much to see, but I'd much rather go inside because there'd be more action to see inside. So let's go inside here. What do we have? We have the ferry building here. That's where it starts. And we can just like walk along this way here. Now, upstairs is really, really nice, but it's not really, I mean, you can kind of go up there, but it's not really open to the public. But it's a really, really nice view because this is a, a it's kind of an old building. It's definitely not a new building. They've taken really good care of it. There's lots of shops in here. Look at that place. Looks like a fancy what, chop candy store or something like that. Lots of um, wine bars and stuff like that. Look at that place. Very, very popular. This is one of those locations where you have to wear a mask inside, so. Yeah, got the mask on. And if I'm not mistaken, you should, you're supposed to wear a mask outside too. I'll leave that up to you guys to do your own decision. This is a restaurant I used to pick up from all the time. Caviar there. Wow, this place is busy. I hardly ever come in here because, number one, that there's not really anything for me to buy in here. There is, um, there is a restaurant down here that has, has Oatly soft serve ice cream and it's really good, but an ice cream cone is like $7 or something like that. So I'm not looking to pay $7 for an ice, an ice cream cone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's not one of those places that I just like, I go to all the time, but I did try it. Tried it with Lori and 
Yeah, ice cream is really, really good. This is like a really, really cool ceramic looking shop. They have like these really, really cool like ceramic looking things. Don't exactly know what, it's like ceramic, you know? And they have all these little like cool looking bowls and stuff. Like you never ever, you never ever hear me talking about like plates and dishes and stuff like that. But yeah, this place has got some legit dishes. Oh, I like those spoons and forks and knives. Oh, it's a hundred dollars for a five piece set. That's a good price. Not bad, huh? Oh, look at these cutting boards. Look how stylish that looks, y'all. Definitely doesn't look like a TJ Maxx cutting board, y'all. It's a beautiful looking cutting board. Look at those plates up there. So, so stylish, yo. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. It's all like very like colorful and, you know, modern looking. Look at that place. It reminds me of one of those airport shops. You know, you're getting ready to get on the plane and you have to grab your items last minute. So that kind of reminds me of. This is a donut place here. It's not open. Now we're basically at the end, but I'm just gonna go outside here because it's not much to see. This is the place with the, oh wow, look at this. They're serving impossible chicken nuggets. I may have to check that out. That's something I haven't seen before. Impossible chicken nuggets, that, 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 that may be really good. I didn't know Impossible had chicken nuggets. I thought Beyond was the first with chicken nuggets. Now we're back out on Embarcadero. This is the same street that we started on here. If you're a little turned around and confused. So yeah, uh, back on the main street. We got a few more vending down here. A lot of like, you know, necklaces and sunglasses and purses and trinkets and socks and all kinds of random stuff you can get off the side of the street for the low low. And over here we got some jamming music. Yeah, that is a... That is a quick morning wrap, a quick morning walkthrough. Early in the morning. Lots of action going on. Something to do. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Or like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, yo.